In June this year, myself and 500 other Monash students created a short video explaining how they would change the world. Eight of us were then selected to go and meet changemakers in New York City. These eight students were Nora, Nikita, David, Hilary, Steph, Navar, myself and Tyson. Day one. We left from Melbourne on the 25th of June and arrived 22 hours later in New York. Took a taxi and checked in. Had a look around Times Square. Day two. Took some photos at Brooklyn Bridge. Walked past the Pride Parade. Took an elevator up Empire State and watched the parade from the sky. Walked to Williamsburg and went to the markets. Saw this old building and sat on the grass. Day three, had a tour of the UN, made a show at the NBC. All right, from the city of New York, the city that never sleeps. No, really, I haven't slept in a week. It's on air at NBC Studios with your host, Tyson Craft. Come on down, man, and tonight's guest, we've got Nora featuring the 30 Rock and Roll band. I'm Hilary Brown, and here's your host, Tyson Craft. Come on down. Good evening, America. It is a pleasure to be here. We've got a terrific show for you tonight, but first, say hello to the 30 Rock and Roll Band. Woo! Can you believe this, Hillary? From tourist to host of On Air at NBC Studios in under 30 minutes, wow. So maybe I should make a run for president. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Should I have you on the show? Now, how is New York treating you? Uh, pretty great. Um. <laughs> Visited the Aid app and watched a VR film at Charity Water before suiting up for a cocktail night. Day four. Learned about publishing at Redbook. Talked about tech at Citibank. Got a tour of NYU and saw MTV filming a show in the gardens. Day five, breakfast with Nick Stone. Met with BlackRock to see the view from Woolworth Tower. Saw the lovely people at Estee Lauder and met Jerry at Viacom. Managed to get tickets to the nightly show. Day six, learned about entrepreneurship at Live Tiles. Played soccer in the park. Visited Fried Frank. Freed Frank, went to Wall Street and the New York Stock Exchange, heard the bell, visited Ground Zero to pay our respects. Day 7, had breakfast at Twitter followed by a tour of Twitter, met with Global Citizen, walked around Columbia Uni, visited YouTube headquarters before heading to the baseball, it wouldn't stop raining. Day 8, had a look at the Met. Watched some boats at Central Park. Caught a train to the High Line and went for an explore. Tried to buy some food. Then sat on the grass and thought about our week. Day nine, last day. Took some photos at MoMA before leaving for Melbourne. Had a dance in the airport lounge because we were very happy as our week was so good. You know, they say New York is a city that never sleeps. But I would say it's definitely not the city that never dreams. 